Hey everyone, welcome to another Will I Buy It. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about all the new makeup releases. I'm gonna tell you if I'm gonna pick them up or maybe I'm not interested in them at all and I'm just gonna skip them. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you're interested in any of these releases. Do you agree with me or maybe not at all? Now let's get right into the video. We have a lot of new releases to talk about. So if you haven't been on my channel before, my name is Marley and I love making YouTube videos about beauty and makeup. I love doing looks swatches, reviews, will I buy it videos, declutters, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see you again on my channel. So I'm just gonna grab my phone. I'm gonna open up Trend Mood and some other makeup pages where I get my makeup news. And I'm gonna see what's new. If you wanna know what pages I get my news from, I always link them in the description box. So you can check them out for yourself. So let me see what was the last thing we talked about okay so kvd beauty is rebranding they are changing their name once again i don't really understand what it was before it was kind of like kindness beauty and truth and stuff and a lot of words that didn't really make sense to me and now they are changing their name to kvd beauty okay and then the k stands for cara and that stands for value apparently. Then V is Veritas, stands for truth. And then D is decors, decor. And that stands for beauty. I feel like they're just trying to make something work that doesn't work anymore. People are still gonna think about Kat Von D. They're still gonna say Kat Von D when they see this brand. It's like they are rebranding, but actually they are not. It's kind of like you go to the hairdresser and you take off a few centimeters and then you expect everyone to notice. People aren't gonna notice that your hair is just a little bit different. To other people, it still looks the same. Nobody is gonna notice. So I feel like that's kind of what they're doing. They are afraid to really change of course, that's also a business decision because they don't want to lose the customers that they have. But I feel like nothing that they do now is really working. I feel like they're not really making a decision, kind of like they're kind of like stuck in the past. I'm not saying that I know exactly what they should do because of course it's a bit difficult to say because on the one hand, they don't want to lose customers. On the other hand, they want to attract new customers by not being associated with Kat Von D anymore. I think they kind of have to make up their mind. They are kind of like in between, nothing is really working. It feels like it's kind of a mess and they're not getting out of it anytime soon, at least not with these kinds of solutions. I feel like they're kind of like, we're different now, believe us, we're different. And everybody is like, no, you're not really. So next up, we have some new eyeliners by Juvia's Place. And they have four colors in brown, a black, a blue, a dark blue and a royal electric blue. I actually think these eyeliners look quite nice. I especially think that navy blue looks really, looks really interesting. I might try this sometime, someday, but I'm not gonna make an order just for this. So I guess I'll watch a review, I'll watch a video if there are some, if someone uses them in a the video, I will check it out. But I'm not gonna go out of my way and order this. So I will just see, maybe I will one day try it or maybe I will forget about it. But at least it looks kind of interesting. I like that they are doing like a dark blue and a brown eyeliner. That is what I would personally go for if I would pick up an eyeliner like this. Then we have the new Elf Cosmetics and Chip Bottle. Let me scooch to the side a little bit more. So now, uh, next up we have the new Elf Cosmetics and Chip Bottle collaboration. I feel like there are so many collaborations coming out all the time that I have no idea of what it is about. Like, I've heard this name, I've heard this word, but I don't know what this is. And I feel like maybe it's a restaurant or something. Is it because I'm not American or am I just really out of the loop? Am, do I just really don't know what's going on in the world? It's like last week there was this collaboration with Coach. After I filmed that video, I realized that I actually didn't know what it was. So is it me or is it just that every collaboration is so American? I feel like... It doesn't happen often that I actually know what a collaboration is about. Let me know, is it me? Do other people feel the same? Do you feel the same? Let me know, please. By the way, I filmed this look. I did it with the 
Ethereal Blooms palette from Artist Couture. It should be up right now or it should be up soon. If it's up, I will link it in the description box. I really actually like how this is looking. I also tried one of the new MAC Black Cherry Extra Dimension blushes. So we have this collaboration with Uma, Oma, Uma Beauty and Coming to America 2. I actually saw this movie before I realized that there was a makeup collaboration. So I already watched the movie and then I saw this and and for a second there I was kind of like excited about it. I was like maybe should I try it? I think the eyeshadow palettes like the nine pens look quite cute and and I can imagine that that highlighter palette would be quite nice and I liked the lip swatches of those lipsticks. They're kind of like those sheer shiny lipsticks which I'm quite interested in in general. For a minute there I was kind of like thinking about it. Should I? Should I not? I just saw the movie. I was like maybe but in the end I I think this isn't adding enough to my collection to justify buying this. And also, if I would buy anything from this collection, I would kind of feel obligated to buy more for a video. And sometimes it's just easier to decide to not buy anything. So it's also not like you're buying one thing you can't really make a video about. Yes, I was just looking at this and I felt like maybe I should buy multiple palettes. Should I buy, should I buy a palette and a lipstick? But in the end, I just felt like it wouldn't add enough. And I was more excited about the fact that I just watched this movie and then I found out that there was a collab. So I do think this looks really nice. I especially like that palette that has a little bit of those pastel tones, but I also have pastel palettes in my life. I really don't need any more, so I decided to just skip everything in this collection, although I think it looks really nice and I'm sure the quality is really good. I'm not sure about it, of course, but I do believe this brand gets quite a lot of hype in general. So yeah, I decided to skip this, although I was quite excited at first. So we have some new brow pencils by House Labs. This is a brand that I'm not really considering buying from ever. I feel like they just really disappointed me at the start and since then I'm kind of like turned off. And I'm not really in the market for a brow pen so I don't really use a lot of brow products and right now I just have something that I think works for me. I don't really, I don't really need anything new and especially not a pencil. We have some new Maybelline and Sailor Moon Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. This is another thing I have never watched Sailor Moon. I don't know what it is about. Who are these girls? What can they do? What's their story? I've never seen one second of Sailor Moon. Is it something really American? I don't really know what the deal is with this. So I can't really get excited about collabs like this. I do know that a lot of people are really like interested in things that have to do with Sailor Moon. I know that people are fans, but I'm not. I don't know. I don't know what's the deal. So, and these lipsticks, I have to say, <laughs> This collab looks really lazy to me. Like, just slap on a sticker and be done with it. Are these even new shades? I don't know. I don't really care. I just feel like this is a really easy cash grab. Just make people that are really fans of Sailor Moon buy this without much effort. Then we have some new Fenty Beauty Body Sauce. I don't believe I already talked about this. But this is not really something I'm interested in. I'm not really interested in body makeup. I don't think... I would ever use it. I just don't really feel the need to use it. And I wouldn't really go anywhere that I would. I feel like this is really something you would wear for like a party or like a photo shoot, something like that. And that's not something that's happening in my life right now. I think I would rather apply some highlighter to my shoulders or something like that instead of like putting something like this all over my body or all over my legs. I would also be a little bit scared that it would rub off that it would get on my clothes so not really interested in this then we have this new disney collaboration what a surprise there is a new disney collaboration i think every day disney collaborations are being released all around the world like when we could still go into the shops i would see disney everywhere it's like they're not spending time on anything else they're just Pushing out collab after collab after collab. So this is another Disney collab. It's Ulta Beauty with WandaVision. I can't get Ulta Beauty here. But I'm also not really sad about it. Looking at this picture. 
It looks kind of boring. I don't really like the packaging. It just looks like there's nothing special about this. It looks like they just took some really generic makeup and slapped a sticker on it. I actually know what this series is. I haven't watched it. I don't know. The commercials didn't really make me want to watch it. Didn't really pull me in. So I didn't really give it a chance. And I'm also not really excited about a collab that has to do with this series. We have a new bronzer shade by Fenty Beauty. It's a new dark cool tone shade. Always nice to see some shade extensions, especially if it's for darker skin tones. That's all I really have to say about it because of course this wouldn't work for me ever. I've heard some good things about these bronzers, but I haven't tried them myself. It looks like quite a good shade. Then we have the new Marvelous Balm by Winky Lux. I don't care. If I wouldn't make a video like this, I would just scroll right past it and never think about it again. I guess it looks kind of cute, but it also looks kind of gimmicky. Like, like there isn't really something special about it except this kind of marble pattern in the bullet. They're also $18. That's, that's a lot. I feel like they just want you to buy it because it looks cute. Like it looks different, but actually it's not really that special. This is just not something that pulls me in. Sometimes... I can get pulled in by packaging. I don't deny that. I can sometimes be really weak, but this isn't it for me. I'm not really interested. What is this? New additions to the Shape Tape family. A Shape Tape eye cream and a new Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. Okay, I'm not interested in this concealer. I'm not really someone who wears a lot of concealer. I have two concealers. One is kind of like this light reflecting pen and the other one is a pot concealer. And that's all I need. So I'm not gonna buy any more concealers, especially not really high coverage ones because I don't wear foundation. So then I feel like it would look kind of weird. I feel like this eye cream looks kind of weird. Like I wouldn't really feel like putting that on my under eyes. It doesn't really look comfortable or it doesn't make sense to me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel like putting that on my under eyes. There's a new shade in the kissing formula by charlotte tilbury and it's the shade nude romance looks kind of like a terracotta terracotta creamy shade this is not a shade for me this wouldn't really look the best with my coloring so gonna skip that one then i told you that i was quite interested in the brand by hindash and he has revealed his new product like his first product and I don't think this is for me. It's like this one and done palette. You can do everything on your face with it. It's all matte and then you have this gradients so you can pick the shade that you want. This looks really like something for fast and effortless makeup or for makeup artists. This is not something I would really enjoy using. I'm not really that a one palette, easy peasy out the door kind of makeup person i like spending time on my makeup i mean i'm at home all day i don't have to go anywhere there's no reason really for me to put on makeup i don't wake up early in the morning and have to put something on before i run out the door when i do my makeup it's for fun it's something i just enjoy doing i just like the process of it so i don't feel like this would really add anything to my life. I like using a bunch of different products. So I understand this launch for the brand, but it isn't for me. I do think it's interesting. I do think it looks interesting and it adds something to the beauty community, like to the makeup that's already on the market. But I would be personally more interested in more individual products, but who knows what he will release next. Then we have these new Melt Cream Blush Lights. They all look very warm and orangey. I'm sure it's a nice formula. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited about this. But this is all too orange for me. I don't think it's going to look flattering on me. Orange blush on me looks like an orange stripe. It doesn't blend into my skin. It doesn't look flattering. So definitely not going to pick anything up from this launch. Although I guess it's quite exciting. Maybe if one day I will be more into cream blush. And they will release some other shades. So we have these new 9 pens by Sigma. Um, they are from the On The Go collection. I don't really like the color stories here personally. They are not really for me. I don't think I'm going to pick any of these up. Maybe that 
kind of rosy cool toned one in the corner but on the other side it wouldn't really add a lot to my collection like color wise i would like to try out the sigma formula sometime i haven't tried them yet but i don't know if this is gonna be it of course they are a little bit cheaper than their bigger palettes so maybe it would be a nice way to try the formula i don't really know i might watch some videos and see what i think maybe if i could get it with like a discount code or something like that. I guess $29 isn't that bad. Uh, I'm, I'm still a little bit on the fence about it. Haven't really decided. Could be that I buy it. Could be that I don't. Then we have this new lip products by Jaclyn Hill. We have lip liners and we have liquid lipsticks. I feel like I just could film a clip of myself explaining what I think about this brand and just every time that they release something just play that clip and then it's all clear. In my last video I already talked about this. I don't really trust her. I don't really feel like she has redeemed herself. She hasn't really given me a reason to want to buy from her again. Also I'm not, I never really was a fan of her and after all the things she has screwed up with past launches, she doesn't really give me a reason to want to, to be excited about this brand. So I'm not going to be buying anything from her in the near future at least. Maybe one day I will change my mind, but I'm not interested in her products. Then we have some super dewy blushes by Makeup Revolution. I guess this is kind of trendy right now because last time we talked about Colourpop having those serum blushes. I saw some videos about those and I don't think this formula is really for me. I think it's too dewy and too like liquidy. I do like some shine, I do like some highlight. I do like it when skin is kind of glowy but I don't really like it personally when it looks wet. So I don't think this is going to be something I'm going to be picking up. Then we have these Moira blushes and they have kind of like this flower butterfly embossing and they have a gradient from one color to another i feel like quite a lot of people were excited about this but i feel like it looks a bit cheap there's something about it that makes it look like drugstore like really cheap drugstore or something that you would find in a dollar store just something about this packaging and the embossing doesn't look luxurious in any way I can understand if people are excited about this, but I'm not really interested. There's just something, when I look at this, I'm just like, it's just not it. Like in theory, I like it, but when I look at it, I don't really feel it. Then we have the new Lemoncello or Limoncello collection by Colourpop. We have an eyeshadow palette with a lot of neutrals, some yellows, a green in there, and also a blue. This one kind of makes me think of the Naked Honey palette by Urban Decay. It kind of has similar vibes. Partly I like this, but partly also I think it's not that interesting. I just feel like there are too many neutrals in here to really be interesting. It feels like a neutral palette with just a few pops of colors. I do like the look of those yellows, but also I just got some yellow single eyeshadows by Lethal Cosmetics. So I don't really feel like I need it. I kind of like the theme. I don't really mind it, but it's just not interesting enough. Maybe if this were like a nine pen, maybe if there were less nudes in this palette that I would be more interested in it, but this is not gonna be something I pick up. And I'm not really interested in anything else that is in this collection. Then we have a new launch by Dominique Cosmetics. There is a six pen pinky palette and some glasses. The palette has a pressed glitter in it. I don't really understand that because I feel like the general consensus is that people don't want pressed glitters in their palettes. I feel like this launch doesn't look that interesting to me. I think the shades in there don't look that interesting and then that pressed glitter definitely throws me off. So I'm not gonna be buying anything from this collection. Then we have a new collection by NARS. This is kind of like a summer limited edition. There's a bronzer, there's an eyeshadow palette and bronzing creams. I guess, I guess it looks kind of interesting, but at the same time, it looks like what NARS always does. The bronzer looks kind of nice, but it's just not that special to me. It doesn't look that special and it's definitely too expensive to pay for something that doesn't look interesting or special or exciting so i'm not interested in this i 
can see some people trying out picking up those bronzing creams but that's also not something i'm looking for then we have this monstrosity of a palette it's the sugar rush positive energy limited edition palette this doesn't give me positive energy this gives me more like negative energy this looks so weird and i don't know what they try to do with this these pants how they how this is laid out it doesn't make any sense and the color story also looks so bland and boring i really don't know what they were thinking when they were developing this palette if you're gonna name your palette like balancing positive energy then you want people to look at it and actually feel positive and balanced and like calm I don't think that you're really like achieving that goal with a layout like this. So that was everything for today's video. Those were all the new releases. I actually don't believe that I want to pick up any of this. I didn't think there were that many nice releases. I don't feel like anything is really tempting me. If I wouldn't buy any of this, I would be perfectly happy with that. And I actually don't mind. Sometimes it's real nice to not even feel like you want to buy anything. So let me know in the comments what you thought about these new releases. Like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!